play. It looked like a miracle happened. Uh, yeah, it was, um, I, my trainer did a good job of getting me uh, ready, and uh, we did just that, I guess. <laughs> did, when did you talk to coach and say, I want to go in? Uh, it was early. I mean, we, we discussed it in the beginning of the game, uh, the situation, how it played, and when he would uh, let me play. And uh, I was antsy throughout the game, and uh, I just I knew Damien could, I knew Damien, uh, could go out there and handle it, and he did a good job for the time being. And uh, I just, after that turnover, I just got antsy, and I needed to get out there, and I told Coach Mullen I wanted to go, and he trusted me and let me go. He told us there at the, in the overtime that they changed the play during the timeout. What was the original call, and you convinced him to go to something else? Um, I believe, I'm not sure what the original, the original call well, yeah, was a pass or something like that. And it was two yards, and I told him, Coach, I said, I mean, I got Gabe up front, senior lineman. I said, just let me get behind him and go. I said, it's two yards, I can get it. And he said, let's do it then. Was there any doubt on those two fourth downs that y'all were going to go for it with oh, you in the uh, game? No, not at all. I mean, that's just, as expected, we got playmakers all around me. And the, uh, Bear made a good catch out there, made a good route. Uh, and got and kept his feet in bounds and made a play. And then I uh, like the fourth and two on the goal line. Dylan Day told he turned around and told me before he snapped the ball, we're going to make a hole. And uh, he did just that, and I just got in. Talk about realistically, how, how much have you gotten in practice and how good did you feel about playing today? Just, uh, I haven't gotten many reps, but I felt good. I mean, I've went through all the reps mentally. Uh, anytime I'm in practice, I go through all the looks. I mean, uh, I get my mental reps in regardless, and uh, I think that helped a lot. Talk about your just a range of emotions the past couple of months, what you've been through and able to overcome? Uh, it's been a lot. It's been wild. It's been plenty plenty downs and plenty ups. And uh, tonight's just, it was just amazing, just the atmosphere to go out there when I walked on the Davis Wade and everybody, you know what I'm saying, screamed. That was just, that was just amazing. You know, they had my back. And uh, for my team just to come through and keep fighting no matter what and uh, to get this win tonight, it was great. You know, it, it was, as this goes down the football, what will probably be forgotten is that your first series that was a three and out. Oh, well, hey, so it, it wasn't I part forgot. of the magic immediately, was it? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Coach said that he uh, asked you guys to uh, write a letter to dedicate this game to someone before the game. Uh, just talk about that letter. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So just write a letter because he wanted this game to be personal. I mean, uh, I just I wrote it to my mom. I mean, my mom, uh, she she's just like me, and I, and I wrote on the letter she hated Ole Miss just as much as I did. So, I mean, uh, and, the, and her favorite and her favorite time of football season was going to a bowl game. So there's no better no better feeling to be able to go bowling for her. Doc, what's it mean for this team with so many and yourself? You're just a redshirt sophomore for so many young guys to come out and make plays tonight and have these seniors go out and throw. Uh, it just helps our confidence. It gives us uh, it gives us confidence going in uh, the bowl game going into next year. It just shows what we can do as a team as long as we believe in each other and stay behind one another. And uh, it's just great. It's great for this university and everything. Yeah, yeah, so recently, early, you get turnovers. Oh, no, he'll get he'll get play. Uh, um, I just think uh, we have a lot of good calls in defense. Coach Dowd and Moon got a lot of good plays. Uh, when we watched our film, we knew what they what they like to do. So uh, he's made a lot of good calls. Tavares, you were one of the last guys to sign with Mississippi State in your class, and you played some big games this year. What's kind of that blue-collar effort you guys have on defense? Talk about what that means to you. Uh, when I was in high school, all I, all I ever wanted to do was play SEC football. And, uh, I just told Coach Willis, give me a chance, and, uh, I want to let you down. So every day I come, come in, work out, school work, no matter what, I give my all. And, uh, guys truly been blessing me, and I had to give all the things to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.